Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about Cockpit, a Linux web GUI management tool. Uh, in the past I've used Webmin uh, for years and years and years, but Cockpit is a new guy on the block, relatively speaking, and we're going to look at that. We're going to install it on Ubuntu 2004 and take a tour. Let's get started. Here it is. This is Cockpit. So if you want to go through and take a look up, go to cockpit-project.org and it will give you an overview of Cockpit. Basically, you got a bunch of pictures here, how to use it, uh, all this good stuff right here. Um, yep, so just, if you wanna learn more about Cockpit, go ahead and check that out. Their installation, their documentation, let's flip over the documentation. Uh, Red Hat, I believe, pretty much comes by default on all new Red Hat installs. Um, that includes your Rocky Linux and your Alma Linux and stuff like that. But we're going to look at Ubuntu this day and uh, get it up and running on there. So I want you to notice one thing here is that the port 9090 <clears throat> is the default running port. So once we get this installed and updated, it's going to be on that port. Okay. So you can go down here. There's a cockpit guide, deployment features, internals, all this good stuff right here. So let's just take a look at the install. <clears throat> And so recommended browsers uh, from Firefox, but at any rate, you will be totally fine with just about any browser. Installation instructions. We've got Fedora, Red Hat, CoreOS, CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, ClearOS, Arc, uh, and Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed's not one I'm familiar with, but anyway, <clears throat> we'll take a look at the Fedora. If you're doing a Fedora install, here's the instructions right, right here. Red Hat, CoreOS, CentOS, Debian. So let's go down and look at the Ubuntu one. So Ubuntu, you've got it in here and you notice that our cockpit has been included in 1704 and later. So easy thing. We're going to do this on a 1004 version of Ubuntu. So it's going to be easy peasy. Um, basically you just do an install. All right. I have my documentation right here on how I'm going to install it. Here I am SSH'd into an Ubuntu machine I created on DigitalOcean. And so we're just going to do the first thing we're going to do is just sudo. If I can type right. So we're going to do sudo apt up. Okay. What that's going to do is go out and just get all the little updates and get it all ready for you. And then we're going to go ahead and install Cockpit. It's going to be this simple. So apt install cockpit, that's why I did that, yes. And bing, bang, boom. Okay, there it is installed. So let's just go ahead and we will look at the status right here. If I take and I copy that in here, in it. Now, let's go ahead and start it. Starting cockpit. Start, boom. Now if I go back and I look at status now, you will see that it's up and running. All right. Now, here's where you do your next thing. Let's open up a port to 9090 in the firewall, in your Ubuntu firewall, allow ETP port 9090, boom. All things good. Now, <clears throat> I know that this right here is the IP address of my server. So I want to go back over here We're going to do this and I'm going to do this. And in theory, it's going to say, Ooh, Oh, Hey, you don't have an SSL cert. Well, that is true, but we know that this is a machine that we're going to do. So Ubuntu 2004 on U all set up now. <clears throat> See, it's going to see down here the server name, which is just a, a digital ocean one out there that I've set up. And I'm going to log in. Okay, looky there. You are in it. Now, if it is your first time through Cockpit, a couple things to notice here. First off, on this overview, you're going to get a usage. 
CP memory, so you can know exactly how much resources there. You get system information right here, configuration information, uh, all right here. So at your fingerprints. If you've used Webmen, it's sort of the same concept. Uh, like I said, now <laughs> that's the overview. You go to logs, you can see all this stuff right here. Storage, so I click on storage. And it's going to give you information about your file system there. So you see this is a UEFI boot and how much, you know, I got 24 gigs worth of space here. Um, all kinds of stuff here. Let's look at the networking. So look at the networking. So we got IP address here. This is that 204 address. Don't worry. By the time you watch this, this machine won't exist anymore. It'll be re-released back to DigitalOcean. So, uh, yeah. That's why I'm not caring about you seeing the IP addresses and anything. So now <clears throat> you can go in here and you can change stuff, add VLANs and all this good stuff. Gives you a little ability to do that. Account. You go to accounts and you're going to see the root account. So this is, you know, what I logged into and now services, all the services that are running on your, your Ubuntu machine are right here for you to take a look and do stuff with, um, software updates. Let's look at this. Are there updates? Here we are back at the updates. Look at this. So if you want a web GUI to be able to check your updates, take a look at all this we've got. Now, you see this little thing here? It's going to show you that there are security updates available. So I think that's what you got here in the red, severities. Look at these, look at these, look at these. All of these updates are there and ready to do. So what do you do? Let's do the install security updates. So you click on that button. Now this is very similar to what you could do in apt update on your command line but you can do it through the web now so we're going to let that happen and we'll come right back here we have updated packages may require a restart we're going to ignore that because right now i don't want to do a restart so system up today you see that boom and it gives you an up a uh, list of the packages that it updates now i just did the security updates now you could have done the full update which really you should assuming that you don't have a reason not to um, also one thing here, here is you can go ahead and get a terminal. Um, so that you can do straight from, from here. That is a very basic install of Ubuntu of cockpit on a do Ubuntu and just a little bit overview of some of the things. So go out there and check out cockpit. It's an easy way to manage web manage your servers um, again uh, if you're a little older school and i've been using webmin for a long time cockpit is a newer guy on the block i think it's nice it's got a lot of great potential and um i see a lot of a lot of people using it now it seems that way so go ahead check it out i think you'll be happy with it i'm kevin stevenson with getwithgeek.com and we'll see you next time